And suddenly we heard that there's this, this toy called He-Man that they want us to do a TV series. And we all kind of looked at each other and said, He-Man? I mean, <laughs> He-Man at that point was kind of a funny word for a, a, a strong man. Yeah, strong man, yeah. Yeah, so it was like, that's kind of an odd name for a show. And uh, then we, you know, we got to look at the toys and we said, well, these look pretty cool. I mean, they were pretty complicated. So we were a little worried it was going to be so much work, but they designed them. So they were a little bit less complicated than the toys. And uh, then we found out we were going to be doing 65 episodes a season. And we're used to doing 13 episodes for a season of like Black Star or Thundar or any of those. So all of a sudden we're going to have to do 65 and that meant working the year round without any layoff or anything. And so He-Man really changed the whole face of animation as far as uh, filmation was concerned, because now we didn't have to deal with the major networks because we did it for syndication. And that way we would just do a show and say, okay, this show is for sale and anybody want to buy it. And you can put it on your channel nine, your channel 11, 13, whatever the off station is. And uh, that way we didn't have to deal with the networks telling us what we could and couldn't do. It was like, here's the show, you buy it or you don't. And uh, of course it was a huge hit. I mean, it's probably been the biggest cartoon in the history of cartoons yeah. uh, because of the toys. I mean, they did like a billion dollars worth of sales in the toys. So it was like an instant uh, hit and then being on five days a week made it so the kids like you said were just running home you know to, to see this thing after school yeah I, I, know, I know my son watched like crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question I, I have my question um <laughs> about time yeah <laughs> so tom i think like he-man and of course transformers gi joe with that the 65 episode season no, don't don't say transformers gi joe those are done in japan we don't talk no, well about but i mean <laughs> as far as directing my question it changed saturday morning cartoons forever in fact was began the death of the saturday morning cartoons um so so you know what was it like i know filmation recycled a lot of the animation cycles and stuff like that i mean what was the difference working on something um for saturday morning versus every day five days a week yeah, yeah. Now it was uh, it was really the same. You know, it was the the process was the same. The difference with us is the reason we had to use reuse animation is because our budgets were so high that we had to find a way to save money. And the way to do it was to uh, that's a good friend of mine calling me. What the hell? Okay, so, so anyway, so he. Uh, the budgets were so high that we had to reuse 25% of every show had to be reused animation so we could compete with the overseas budgets. And uh, we didn't want to do that. It's not like we weren't incapable of doing it, but it, number one, it helped with the timeline because we had to do an episode more than one episode per week due to the schedule. And, uh, and then we also uh, just had to save the money. So um, that's why we had to reuse the animation. But the, the thing that really killed Saturday morning cartoons was Saved by the Bell. Oh. Because they realized you could hire a couple of kids for a couple of dollars and do a, a TV series and everybody would watch that instead of spending 250000 bucks an episode uh, on He-Man. 